strobe light on before engaging rotor on until rotor stops turning. This is a good one. My instructors made me do it and it's a good habit to get into early on. A lot of guys don't do it, but you want to have that strobe on just to give somebody the indication that, hey, I'm getting ready to start here. And same thing at the end when you're shutting down, why not leave that strobe light on until the rotor blades are done moving? If anything ever happened, you could say, hey, I was at the controls of the aircraft. I was staying inside as I was trained to do until the rotor stopped. I had my strobe lights on. You know, I used all the caution I could. The incident where somebody come up and, God forbid, walked into the tail rotor. You were doing what you needed to be doing. You were at the controls, waiting for the blades to stop, and your strobe light was on.